Essay planning and answering essay based question is probably the most hardest thing to do for any candidate in the examination. Whether that be paper 2 or that be paper 4, answering essays is critical to getting good marks in your examination. In this series, I want to focus on the thought process that you need to answer any essay questions and get almost full marks in any of those essay questions. I won't be going through any pre-written essays since my way of writing is going to be drastically different from your way of writing. What I might find easy to read and easy to understand may not be the same case for you. Instead, I want to focus on what goes through the mind. When you see an exam question, what should go through your mind? How should you process the question and how should you answer the questions? In a way that is both understandable by the examiner and also in a way that you can write in an easy logical pattern and try to score maximum marks as possible. So stick around through the throughout the series. I'll be going through a lot of past paper questions. So make sure that you have a pen and paper to write everything that I'll be going through a lot of past paper questions and examples to help solidify your understanding so that when you see any exam questions, you know exactly what to write and how to write. And then what do you actually write on the paper that might differ from person to person since everyone has a different level of English and everyone's ability to write eloquently is different. But as long as you get the key points in and the key understanding in, you should be able to score full marks. In this video, let's focus on let's focus on the exam requirements that you need to score maximum marks in your essays. Technically, this is true for paper four, but for paper two, you don't really need that much information or that high level of eloquence to write essays. However, if you can learn the process, it can make your paper two a piece of cake. There are four levels of evaluation or there are four levels where that examiners use to evaluate your answers L1, L2, L3 and then we have L4. I want to focus on L4 since that is going to give you your maximum amount of marks and you should also be focusing in trying to achieve L4 since if you can achieve L4 you can pretty much achieve the highest marks possible and if you aim for the highest you can pretty much get there. There are four categories on which you are going to be evaluated. The first is knowledge, second is application, the third is analysis, and the fourth is evaluation. So let's start with the knowledge aspect of the essays. What do the examiners expect you to write to get full marks in your knowledge? So let's start with knowledge first. Detailed knowledge of relevant facts and theory. To put this in simple words, that essentially means that you need to write all the definitions and formulas or the key points that the question is asking or which is written on the question. And I feel this is something that is relatively easy. Either you can use the definitions given in your book or if you are good enough in your knowledge, then you can use your own words to define all the key points and the facts given in the question. Perceptive understanding of the specific requirements of the question throughout the answer. To put it in simple words, this essentially means that the examiner expects you to write all the points that are relevant to the question. What does that mean? For instance, let's say that there's a question about market failure. Some students can, you know, start, you know, throwing points around about market failure, which may not necessarily, which may not be wrong, but the examiner expects you to write only those points which are relevant to the question. And if you can do these two things, you will understand how to get full marks in your knowledge. I will go through a lot of examples in the, in, the few, in the coming few videos so that you guys have a clear understanding of what I am trying to say. If you want to score full marks in your application, you need to have graphs and diagram. Relevant opposite illustrations and specific examples are introduced to add depth and fullness to the answer. What does that mean? Your graphs and diagrams should be in such a way that you are able to connect both your knowledge and your analysis. Which means if you are using a graph, in your analysis you have to use the graph or use the examples that you have taken and explain in the analysis using those examples. If you only write application independent to any analysis, meaning you give an example and then you leave it as this and just move on to your analysis, you won't be scoring level 4 marks. You might score level 2 or level 3 but not level 4. Your application should be in such a way that whatever facts and definition you have written and whatever analysis you're going to make, it connects both of them. Think of it as a bridge. The bridge connects both the knowledge and the analysis. To score full marks in analysis, you need something called as chains of analysis, which I'll explain as, as we go through more and more examples. And if you want to score full marks in evaluation, 
any good essay is going to have these three key aspects as, a, as part of its evaluation. Firstly, to get L4 level of marking evaluation, you need to be able to challenge all the assumptions. You need to be able to give a good judgment and you need to have something unique to your essays. If you can have all of these if you can have all of these different things in your, if you can have all of these different aspects in your essays, your essay is going to look, number one, it's gonna look very concise, meaning it's not, it won't be lengthy because examiners do not want to see a lengthy essay which does not have depthness and does not have substance. It should be as concise as possible, but at the same time, you must have all the information, meaning you should answer the question in a systematic manner, in a systematic manner systematic manner and this is going to make your essay look really nice and easy to read and hopefully can get you the highest level of marks.